I have five real examples of guerrilla marketing that I have used as a small business marketing manager. Many believe guerrilla marketing means that you're having to do something super crazy, creative, or really unique, and they're scared off by the idea because it just never seems all that practical. The true meaning of guerrilla marketing comes from this book that I have used for ages. It's very well loved. And the author, Jay Levinson, says guerrilla marketing focuses on using resources like time, energy, creativity, instead of money to market your small business. And the primary measuring stick of if these tactics are working are profits. When I was just starting out, I was working with a very small budget. And so this book really helped me think outside the box and realize that I actually had several strategic advantages over larger companies. One being that as a small business, I can adapt faster. I can adapt to new technology, trends, different ideas before my competition. And also from the get-go, I was going to focus on our existing customers as much as possible. Larger companies are always spending money to get new clients, but repeat business is way cheaper than new business. What I did to focus on repeat business, simple things like handwriting thank you cards or responding to emails and phone calls like it was just my biggest priority goes a long way. I also make sure that I'm asking for their business. If I ever have a new offer or just a really, really good offer, I always offer it to our existing customer list first and I can do that for free by sending out an email or for a little extra money, I could send it in the form of a letter. I also often will ask our customers for advice. And this is good for a couple of reasons. One, I really wanna know what they think. <laughs> and two, when you ask somebody for advice, it kind of connects you with them in a stronger way. So just think about when somebody asks you for advice, then you kind of wanna follow up with them. You wanna see how they're doing. You're invested in the decisions that they make. So asking your customers for advice actually will make them feel more connected to you. And of course, as a service business, we are very focused on the customer experience. We're very careful about who we hire because we don't want to grow at the expense of our very loyal customers. Okay, so now for my five examples of guerrilla marketing tactics that I have used as a small business manager that have worked really well for us. One is door hangers. I will make door hangers just in-house using a printer and cardstock paper. With things like Canva, it's super easy now. I mean, I used to make them in Microsoft Word, but now there are opportunities to make them much more professional looking than I did when I was first starting out, but door hangers still work. And a little trick is to, so make a door hanger, you could either make it take an eight and a half by 11 and kind of chop it in half down the middle so it's long, or kind of make them in postcard size so you could get four on a page. Just take a regular hole punch, punch a hole at the top, and then stick a rubber band through it so that it connects to it. The rubber band makes it attached to the door a lot better. And so I would usually focus, like I said, I work for a heat and air conditioning company, and so we would have one big installation job a day. And so I might go out to the neighborhood where that installation job was and put maybe 10 door hangers around where the job was. Doesn't take much time at all. And after doing that consistently, I could start to basically count on getting about one job a week after a week's worth of door hangers. So again, using time and energy to get customers instead of money. The second guerrilla marketing tactic that I would use that's actually kind of in tandem with the door hangers is again around those big installation jobs. I would go to whitepages.com and do a reverse address search from the house that we were at. And whitepages.com will give you, you know, 10, 15 nearby neighbors. I would send those neighbors a letter just saying that we were in the neighborhood and here's a special offer. Chances are, they also got a door hanger, so these things will work in conjunction together. Third guerrilla marketing tactic that I really loved doing was I made a coloring page. <laughs> I used our mascot image and made a coloring page out of it. I then handed it out to a local restaurant. Now I included the local restaurant's logo on it as well, and we made a coloring contest. So they would give them out to the kids that would come into the restaurant. The kids would color it, they'd hang them up on their wall. Every month they do a contest to see who the winner was, and the winner won a treat from that restaurant. And there's actually a lot of resources online that you can use like PicMonkey and Canva to create a free coloring page. Okay, the fourth idea 
idea for guerrilla marketing that we have used is to create news about yourself. You can talk about this news on your blog, social media, industry newsletters, etc. And so here's a few examples of news that you can create about yourself. So the day that our company went into business, like back in the 80s, we now call that our Founders Day. And so every time our Founders Day rolls around, we have a big celebration and we post a bunch of stuff about that and those always get lots of likes and shares and attention in our local area. Another thing is we sponsor a local 5K and we do a big giveaway like a Yeti cooler. So I buy one Yeti cooler the whole year and we do a big giveaway that's centered around the 5K that we sponsor. Third thing is to hold an event at your office. For example, we do a Veterans Day celebration where we invite local veterans from the community to come to our office on Veterans Day. We give them a free air filter for their furnace and a free cup of coffee. Our Veterans Day celebration has actually become a favorite event among our employees and our customer base looks forward to it every year. A fourth idea for making news for yourself, we haven't actually done this, but I've always thought that this was a great idea, is to create a scholarship in your name. So I've always thought being a heating and air conditioning company, we could develop a scholarship where we send a local student to trade school. However, we have an apprenticeship program in-house, which is actually a lot better. <laughs> so we've never done that, but I've always thought that that's a great idea. Okay, fifth guerrilla marketing tactic that I have used is doing a tag us on Facebook type campaign. So if somebody tags your company page on Facebook, that will get shown to a much larger audience on Facebook than if you just put out a post. So one simple thing that you could do in a tag us on Facebook campaign or contest is to get a $5 gift card to a local coffee shop and say, you know, take a picture of your morning cup of coffee, tag us on Facebook saying, I don't know, something, something related to your business. You give them the thing to say and tag us on Facebook. And of course, even better if people have a cup of coffee that has your logo on it. I hope that these ideas have given you some inspiration to think of creative ways to market your small business that don't actually cost all that much money. If it was helpful, I would really appreciate it if you liked this video and subscribe to my channel for more low cost, no cost marketing tips every week for your small business. As always, have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.